to do a lab on thermal energy. This one is going to be a lot of fun. So you guys did an electrical energy lab um, uh, two days ago, I believe, I don't even remember. And now just go to the opposite page. And to, to start a science experiment or lab, you have to make some kind of observation, right? Like you have to be thinking of something, wondering something. And so what I'm wondering is, um, how long, so copy this down, will it take for a Hershey kiss to melt and, okay, how long will it take for a Hershey kiss to melt in several different locations? So one thing I want you to know is that if you remember from our previous labs is when you add heat, right, you're going to take something that's a solid and it's going to melt into a liquid. When you add heat, it will turn into a liquid. Now, it depends how much heat you're adding. So we're going to be experimenting on different surfaces. So um, so here's what I'm thinking, like location slash surface, I guess, because it's like, it's not so much like, oh, my hand being a location, like my surface is the hand. Um, and then just take your paper and fold it. So location, service, and then surface, I mean, and then time to melt. So in order to do this experiment, I need a stopwatch to measure the time, and then I need different locations. So here's what I'm thinking. One is on a plate, and that's just, we're not gonna do anything to it, it's just gonna be room temperature, and you guys remember what we did with room temperature. Um, another is going to be in my hand, now do remember, your body gives off a little bit of thermal energy, right? We're gonna add some heat to this. Your body will give off thermal energy. Um, another is a hot plate. Another is, it's going to be under a lamp. I'm not gonna put it on the lamp, but it's gonna be under a lamp. And so those are the four locations and we're gonna see how long it takes. So I have four timers. And then I have a tin foil for my Hershey Kiss to sit on on the hot plate. I have a plate for my Hershey Kiss to sit on, and it's just going to sit on room temperature. I'm going to have it on my hand, and then I'm going to have it on a plate, but it's going to be near the heat source. So this is a little bit different. So um, we will write this. Whoops, we will write this down after the experiment is over. So get this copied in your journal. And actually, let's do a prediction and then the results. How long do you think it will take for it to be completely melted? Write down your prediction and then we'll, we'll do the experiment and then we'll write the results.